Hey everybody, it's Captain Jeff. We're getting to the end of Happy Bait 2015. The uh, mullets are still in the canal stick. A lot of the bit, uh, tarp and the snook have uh, kind of, I don't know, slowed off a bit, but the offshore is going off. And there's ballyhoo piling through, still mullets coming through, all sorts of bait out there, herring, pilchards. It's still Happy Bait. Now look at here. Fishing slowed inshore a little bit. So how we roll down here in South Florida is we start doing a little bit of offshore stuff. Same skiff, same rods. The only difference is I'm gonna bring out my old international that I got rigged up on my kite rod. So I use that. This here kite, standard. I don't know, this is a fancier kite that they made me get. But it uh, works great. You need a kite. And then all this tackle right here. Look at this. Bobbers, hooks, all this tackle right here. All you need is some bobbers, your regular hooks that you're already using, swivel. Swivel, guys, this is your day. We're gonna use a swivel today. Ha! This is a 6-0 VMC tournament style circle hook. And if you look real closely, you see that little piece of elastic on there? That's going to make sure that the circle hook doesn't swing back into the bait and hook itself. And if you ever have that issue, it happens a lot with thread fins and bait, a little bit lighter baits. But anyway, you want that little piece of rubber on there. Then what I did is I got, that's number, uh, I think that's like 58 pound test wire. I got a shot of wire because there's been some kingfish out there. From the wire, I went to 40 pound test pink monofilament leader and I'm using an old school vintage pen reel now these are great for kite fishing because they hold so much line okay and the only thing I have to do now is just put my uh, cork on there which we'll do in a second and that's where I'm gonna use for my long line okay now I'm only gonna run two because there's just two guys out here I'm gonna run two on the kite two on the flats and one down That'll be plenty of line for just the, the small party that we got today. So this is super skiff, ghetto style kite fishing right here. And you can do this anytime there's a lot of fish out there and it's not too rough and you got a little bit of wind. Anyway, I'll show you guys how to... Uh... Now, you all know Captain Jeff doesn't usually use the Bimini Twist. Right? But today, in this rig, it's not a bad rig to use for the Bimini Twist. So I do the Bimini Twist, I double it up, I do the Albright, I come all the way down to the leader, which is steel, I do another Albright. Real simple stuff. You just gotta be able to tie your knots well, not a lot of knots, no big deal. So anyway, I'm gonna snip off the Snip off the off right here. Now because, because this is going to be the long kite, I'm going to put a weighted big bobber on there. Put that weighted big bobber on there. Good idea to do this at the dock if you're going out on a small skip before you get out in the wind. Make sure you can roll. You struggle like I did getting your leader through your bobber. You can always just use your rigging needle. I struggled a little bit getting it through. The rigging needle goes through nice and straight, and then I just pull it through. All right, so anyway, I got my bobber. Okay, I'm gonna 
get rid of that Albright. All you swivel guys, here you go. This is your big day. Captain Jeff's going to use the swivel. Okay. Simply do clinch knot to the swivel, real easy. You can do polymer knot, whatever you like, whatever you're used to. That double line ain't going to come out. Knots always suck on camera, so if you can't tie a clinch knot, I don't have to tell you. It's like the easiest old and vicious knot, fishing knot in the world. And, uh, get your... Oh. Now you get your double through there. Do your clinch knot. Okay. Now what I like to do with my sailfish leader now, so I'll just tie a little loop knot right here. Try to make it a little bit small. Do a tiny uh, loop knot. Okay. That loop knot will go right in your swivel like that and then if you're smart you make four or five of those leaders with the loop knot at the end and you start getting strikes out there you're not taking your time to rig more leaders all right so there you go there's captain jeff's kite rig but uh super skiff ghetto style you can get out there, get yourself fish, mahi, kingfish, run that dog with Captain Jeff.